hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is kate and over here we do beauty related videos be that tutorials hair videos reviews anything you choose down in the comments and speaking of you choosing speaking of you guys choosing today i'm doing a look chosen by one of you guys so in my last video one of you commented that you would like to see me do a burgundy look so I delivered so if you like this look and you'd like to see how i did it please be sure to watch this video and before then before we get into this video i just want to ask you to ask yourself are you subscribed <laughs> so if it turns out that you're not subscribed but you like me you like my makeup you like this video please be sure to subscribe and support your girl as i am trying to get to 1000 subscribers by the end of the month and i could surely use your support so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we're starting off this tutorial with my brows already done. I've started most of my tutorials recently with doing my brows, but I can't, I don't know why, it's just so much easier doing my brows off camera. And I'm sure you guys can relate because like, you know the days where you're going out, that's the days when your makeup will set, mess up. So I guess the whole point is, it's easier to do your makeup when you're relaxed. So just play some music, relax, start your makeup early and it will come out good stressful makeup is not good makeup <laughs> never so i'm just going to be priming my eyes with the p louise base in room of four as usual and now that the eyes are primed i'm going to go into the huda nude rich palette and and I'm going to start off with this shade here. As you can see, I've already hit pan on this shade. I'm actually, I'm proud of myself. I love hitting pan. So I'm just packing that burgundy shade on my crease. So I'm going to try and diffuse that shade with this color here. It's not much lighter, so I'm just trying to use it to blend colors about. And then I'm going to go into this shade here to really blend it out. And I'm going to deepen the outer V with this shade. And I'm going to try and do it in a more winged shape, more V shape. So I've packed that deep colour down and I'm going to blend it out with this burgundy. I feel like I've done, gone a bit overboard. <laughs> Keep forgetting how pigmented this palette is. So now we've got them as symmetrical as they're going to get. We're just going to put this shade on with our fingers. I feel like one thing I struggle with the most is when I make a mistake on one eye, I try not to make a, that same mistake on the second eye. But in trying not to make that mistake on the other eye, the other eye looks better. So it's like, how do I combat this? <laughs> and then I'm going to use this shade here to kind of merge the red and the brown together. So that is that and we are done with the eyes for now but we will still come back to it and add some finishing touches. So now onto skin, I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I feel like most of this primer's appeal is the way it feels when you're using it on the skin. It feels so nice, it feels like a nice jelly, I don't know how, to, how else to describe it, a nice moisturizing jelly and today i'm gonna go in with my fenty foundation in the shade 420 so for concealer today i'm going in with my revolution conceal and define 
I'm just gonna use that to cut, try and clean up the eyeshadow as well. So that everything is nice and neat. And when I'm doing a smoky look, I like to be extra bright. So I'm going in with the regular conceal and define in the shade C10. I'm just putting that right underneath the eyes. I'm gonna blend that out with my Miss Shop Mousse sponge. And now that's all smooth and blended out and highlighted, we're gonna add some color back into my face, some warmth. I'm using the Black Opal Foundation Stick in the shade Suede Mocha, and I'm just gonna use that to cream bronze. And now that that's all done, I am going to set my highlighted areas with the sash. This is not the sash lock up. So now I'm going to be setting my un my highlighted areas with the Makeup Revolution setting powders in the shade Peach and Banana mixed together. So now I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with my NYX No Filter Powder in the shade Deep Golden. It was actually a subscriber that suggested this to me. After complaining that my um, MAC Mineralize finish is going to run out, she said that this was pretty much a dupe. So I'm trying it out and it really is a dupe. This is a dupe for the shade Dark Deep. I, I'm usually a shade Dark Tan, but I don't mind Dark Deep either. So this is quite nice. I'm going to use that shade to also try and add some definition into my nose. I don't want those lines looking too harsh, so I'm just gonna use the powder brush to kind of diffuse everything out. And I'm gonna go back into my setting powder and reverse contour. And today to bronze, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami Bronzer. And then for blush, I'm going to go into the NYX Sweet Peach Blush in the shade Risky Business. I feel like this is going to go with the eyes a lot. I'm just going to plop that onto my cheeks. So going back into the palette, I am going to use this shade and this shade. So I'm going to use the shade more diffuse and then I'm going to pack the shade more tightly. And now for eyeliner, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline gel liner and I'm just gonna create, not a wing, but a thick kind of smoky liner. Now I'm gonna go immediately in with the smudge at the end of the brush and just smudge it out. So 
So I'm just going to do my mascara and my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So now the lashes are on and we're going to finish our eyes by doing the inner corner. So I'm going to go into this shade over here and pop that in the inner corner. So now I'm going to spray my face with the MAC Fix Plus. Beautiful. I'm just going to use the bum of my beauty sponge to just press the rest of that setting spray in. And that spray just made me super dewy. So what I'm going to do is... <clears throat> I do like the dew, but I feel like I need to selectively mattify. So I'm just going to go into my setting powder and take just a little bit and try and get a little bit off and just use that to re-mattify the center. So my cheeks are still dewy, but the center is a bit more matte. Today we're going to be highlighting with the pink champagne from Soul Body. I think that's enough. <laughs> And now for lips, I'm using the MUA Lip Pencil in the shade Obsession. Then I'm going to use my MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love. Then I'm going to use my MAC lip gloss in the shade Dreamy just on top. I'm just going to go in with a bit more blush and then that will be that for today's look. So this is the finished look. I um, went ahead and did some baby hairs. <laughs> My baby hair game, I don't know what's going on, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So this is the final look. Do you like how I did it? Is there something you would like me to try? Is there something you'd like me to do? Please leave me some suggestions down in the comments. And that is it for today's look. So please make sure that you like, give me a big thumbs up <laughs> if you like. Comment, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.